Hey guys, it's Robert with Clean Pool and Spa at an undisclosed location. A pool inspection right now, and I wanted to make a quick video because I wanted to ask you, do you think that I've just discovered the greatest test strips ever? I don't know, because I have them right here. I wonder what they are. How do we know if they're good? Well, I'm gonna show you. Because we have to test them against something. And today, I'm gonna test them against this test kit right here. This is a Taylor K2006 pool water test kit. It's the best on the market. So I'm gonna put those test strips against the readings on this test kit, and we're gonna see how good these test strips are. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the readings. What I'm going to do is chlorine, the pH, and lastly, my favorite, the stabilizer. So let's get going. Okay, so first thing is chlorine. Now, you're gonna to have to excuse me. I'm doing this with one hand here which is a little more difficult to do. I don't have a tripod or anything. So, all right, we're set for the chlorine. All right, so we're gonna put two scoops in. This is the DPD powder. And when chlorine is present, it will turn pink and ta-da, look at that. It does, it turns a beautiful pink. Okay, now this is our R0871, let me get that focused. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put drops in here until it turns clear. We're gonna count the drops. So again, excuse me, but I'm gonna be doing this with one hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ooh, that one's high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, three, five. Let's roll the mix. Let's get in there. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine, fifty. So it goes clear. Okay, it went clear. So we put in fifty drops. A lot of drops. So we multiply that times 0.2, and that gives us a chlorine reading of ten. Next, we're going to do the pH. We rinse this out. I'm filling this whole thing. So just so you know that I am not cheating at all. All right, pH, here we go. All right, five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now, do as I say, not as I do, because I lost my lid. Don't do this. Always put a lid on here. All right, and then we look at that, and we match the pH up with the color chart. It's pretty high. I would say about 8.0. All right, and last is stabilizer we're gonna fill it up to this seven no mark right here with pool water and then we flick it out until we get to the 14 mil mark or to this seven mil mark sorry there we go okay so we have seven a little bit more we have seven mils of pool water and then we take our stabilizer cyanuric acid reagent and we fold that up to the 14 mil mark All right, that looks good. Again, I'm sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Let me shake for a few seconds. How you do the stabilizer with this is however cloudy this solution is. And we're gonna be using the smaller one, smaller vial right there with that black dot. So we're gonna put the solution in that vial. And then we're gonna watch to see when that black dot disappears. Let me get that straight. Ooh, where is it? Okay. Ah, about right there. It looks like it just disappeared. So we look on the side here and we see where the black dot disappeared. And it looks to be about 50 parts per million or so. Let's see. Can we see the black dot? And I'm looking through the phone here. Maybe a little more. That looks about good. Okay, so we're going to call it about 50 parts per million. 10 for the chlorine. 8, 8.2 maybe for the pH. And yeah, let's say 50 for the stabilizer. So let's go ahead and test that against my test strips. 
Magic Test Strip and Focus right there. All right, so let's go ahead, have a brand new one. We do. And up. There you go. We're gonna keep keep those little dots on there of water. We let this sit for just a few seconds. Chlorine was really high at 10. So here we go. What does that look? That looks pretty dark right there. It's darker than that one. So we're gonna call that a tie. So we did the pH. That was pretty high too. So that falls about right in there because that's that was pretty dark. So we're gonna call that maybe seven eight to eight zero as well. Now for the stabilizer. Where do you think that is? I think it's about right there. Maybe right, right in there or so. It says 30 to 50. So what do you think? You think these are these are fairly accurate? I think they are. Again, I do love my Taylor K2006 kit, but for the money, these test strips, I tell you what, they're pretty good. All right, so the big reveal, we wanna know what test strips am I using? Here you go. Porpoise, chlorine, pH, alkalinity, and stabilizer. I tell you what, these are pretty good. Now, am I ever gonna get rid of my beloved K2006 pool water test kit? Absolutely not. But folks, I'm telling you, for the money, you get 50, you think, I think 50 strips in here. I think this cost me about 12 bucks. For the money and for the accuracy, these are one of the best I've ever used. For weekly maintenance, I think these would be okay. Testing test strips against the best test kit on the market. I think they did pretty good. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.